everybody and welcome to Chrono Plays Nerd Block. This is the February 2015 edition of the Nerd Block Arcade Block. And let's jump right in. First thing, pretty much the same exact box as it always is. It's the pseudo Nintendo setup box with the whole list of everything that's inside put right on the label for you just so the whole blind box thing is blown out of the water well i didn't see it i tried really hard not to read it while i was scratching it out with the marker uh so i i saw there was a word key in there but that's all i saw so it could be anything <clears throat> as is traditional i have already opened the konami code tape and let's take a look at what is inside we have the standard arcade block up on the top here. We have a t-shirt. This is what everybody seems to like is these t-shirts. Ooh, how appropriate. This is this is nice. Ooh, I like this. It's Majora's Mask, in case you can't tell. It's got the outline of the mask in the background, and that's the... What's his name? Skull Kid? Why is he called Skull Kid? He looks more like a scarecrow. But, uh, yeah, it's the Skull Kid is a shadow. I like that a lot. I really, really do like that. That is a very nice t-shirt. Very nice. Sit you on the side there. Oh, oh, God. It's a Chibi Link from Wind Waker. Oh, that is awesome. Come on, open, open. There we go. Whee! It's a little Chibi plush Link from Wind Waker with a little tiny bitty hero sword. And his little tiny itty bitty wooden shield. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, that's getting hung up somewhere. I'm not sure where, but that is getting hung up somewhere. <laughs> I like it. This is apparently the Link box. Stay. Thank you. And we've got a nondescript brown box. Hmm... Usually when nondescript brown boxes show up in my in my house, I wouldn't be recording my, me opening them. Whoop. Come on, whoop. Come on, there we go. Pop. This thing's pretty crammed in there too. Like like the box seems to want to kind of is bulging out ish. Let us open this thing up. It is holy shit a cup. A mug. Oh, I saw this online. I saw this on our gaming. Star Fox Coffee. It's a coffee mug that has Star Fox on it, obviously, as you can see. Yeah, I saw this thing on our gaming. I figured somebody just picked it up at ThinkGeek. Apparently, I know where they get their stuff. That's pretty cool, too. I like it. And that would explain the bulging box is because of all the packing material to make sure that it didn't get damaged in the shipping. Which, it did not. Awesome. We have a Sonic Ball. Buildable figure. So it's like, what, Sonic and Lego combined or something like that? I don't know. I guess we'll find out here in a second. Let's open you up. Oh, you have perforated edge right there. And I almost took my finger off doing it. That was, that was incredibly stupid. Always be careful when you're playing with knives, kids. And adults, apparently, I need to say that. Because, you know, I'm apparently an idiot. Which I'm totally not surprised about, honestly. We have... Uh... <laughs> this just looks so weird. It's, it's just this ball of black Sonic. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, I think? Yeah, I think. I don't know, I'm not much of a Sonic fan. Never was. I always thought that Sonic games could never really tell that if they wanted to be a racing game or a platform game, and they just could never quite get it right, and they always just did both at once, and I didn't like it. Um, but yeah, that's that's my personal preference anyways. Is his arm supposed to be up or down? I'm not... This arm seemed to just slide right into place. This arm just totally didn't. Um, he has a very long neck. <sighs> and there we go. Buildable Shadow the Hedgehog. In three total pieces. 
his head, his two arms, and the rest of his body. That is weird. And there was nothing else in here. There's this thing, which I guess would show all of the ones that we could have gotten. We could have gotten uh, Werewolf Sonic. We could have gotten Regular Sonic. We could have gotten Super Saiyan Sonic, Robo Sonic, and Red Sonic. I know, Knuckles. Yeah, somebody's probably going to correct me on Robo Sonic here. And if you don't get it, I did make a, a Super Saiyan joke there. So... I know a little bit about Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know much, though. Next, we have a cat toy. Oh, oh, oh. It's a Pac-Man keychain with authentic Pac-Man sounds. Contains one keychain with Pac-Man sound effects. Okay. Pop. So I got another keychain from Nerd Block. Come on, let go. Let go. Thank you. Put you over here in my improvised garbage pile now. Pop out your battery cover thingy. And find the button that pushes the button. Authentic sound. Yeah, I don't hear anything either. Um, I think something might have broken. I'm going to have to take this thing apart, I guess and take a look at what's going on with the batteries. Uh, but yeah, no audio, nothing whatsoever. So, hmm. all right, then, yeah, I'll take a look at that. Stay. And then we have a, this is Link to the Past, I believe, right? Yes, that's definitely Link to the Past. I was trying to remember if it was Link to Past or Link's Awakening. But no, this is Legend of Zelda Link to the Past map. This is the entire world map. And uh, it's a very thin and very tiny mouse pad. It's not not that large. Um, but it might help with my problems. I'm going to be using it. Because right now, my mouse pad is just my wooden desk. So there we go. Okay, and then the, you know, yeah. The little piece of cardboard that shows what all is in the box. We have the legendary le legendary hero. Hey, listen. Wrong Legend of Zelda. <laughs> so, the fairies do that in every one. We got the Star Fox mugs, Sonic buildable figures, Pac-Man keychain, Hyrule mouse pad, and the shirt that they don't give any details on. That's actually a little strange. Huh. Alrighty then. Uh, well, for the most part, I would qualify this as actually a pretty awesome nerd block. Uh, this is actually pretty cool. Usually in the other blind boxes, there's one or two things that I would want to keep. And I'll keep out in a small collection that I have underneath my monitor. But uh, so far with nerd block, the vast majority of stuff is stuff that I'm going to want to keep. So, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Now, before I end up, I'm going to cut here. I'm going to track down my toolkit, and I'm going to see if I can fix this guy and see if I can get him to make noise. Um, I might have to steal my cat's laser and uh, steal the batteries out of it, see if that works. I don't know. I will be right back. All right, there we go. We just had to take it apart a little bit and put it back together again. There was nothing that I could see that was wrong. I just pulled the batteries out, put them back in. Now it works. And yeah, I mean, that's all it makes. That's all it does. I don't know what anybody would have expected from that, but uh, there we go. We got a Pac-Man keychain, a working Pac-Man keychain, which is awesome because I didn't want it to be broken or have to put in a claim to nerd block or anything. I just like it when my stuff works. I, I, I'm, I guess I'm weird that way. Hmm. Alright, so that was a nerd block for February 2015. February? Yeah, it's March, right? I don't know. It's hard for me to tell anymore. Uh, I always get my nerd blocks a week after the month that they're supposed to be in. 
international shipping and USPS. What are you going to do? So I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.